It's a big weekend for the Division of Wildlife Resources hosting the Western Hunting Conservation Expo for the first time since the pandemic. And as Fox 13 News reporter Aaron Cox shows you, they had some special guests putting on a show. The crowds walking through the expo. It might seem out of place to hear the bark of a dog. Kind of show a little bit about the dog and what the dogs do and, and how they work and what their purpose is. This is Cruz. The four-year-old born in Camas, Utah, has trained and worked with Matt Burgess since he was a pup. He enjoys doing what we do and we do that together. And, uh, and then when there is those successes that we have, we, uh, we share them together. These two are a team working to track poachers and even trespassers. Cruz is also trained to find artifacts. Anything with shell casings, phones, guns, anything like that, the dogs will usually help us just find those as well. The dog will actually uh, cut those times in, in half or more if we were just to go up and look for those particular types of evidence. Today, is all about showing off how they track different scents. I switched boxes around and I and a dog smelled it and I gave the dog when he found it a ball. You could train animals to do all sorts of things. It sat down, I threw the ball and hit the um, box and it went up and the dog ate it. <laughs> Good job. It looks easy to the crowd, but it's taken years of training. I know he knows when we're training versus when we're really doing something. So anyway, it's just that a bond and, and being able to understand each other and how each other works. And it takes a lot of work to get to that point. And if you missed the expo today, it is going through tomorrow. The dog handlers, though, will not be here. From the Salt Palace Convention Center in Salt Lake City, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah. Pretty cool. That's a big one out there. Meantime, DWR reports more than $600,000 in wildlife value was lost in 2021 due to poaching or other criminal behavior. More than 1,000 animals were investigated as either unlawfully taken or killed.